guys welcome back to my channel it's the cooking nurse and in today's video we're going to be making a quesadilla i'm going to explain what a quesadilla is in my description box please make sure to check it out so we're going to be using my papa's flour a little bit of salt some sugar baking powder and then i'm going to be using cow ghee half a tablespoon of cow ghee so mix this together because uh the cow ghee the um, you can also add in milk powder and the warm water is the secret to making soft tortillas if you're not going to be using corn flour you just use this more purpose flour it's all the same so i'm just going going in with my warm water not cold not too hot warm water and i'm going to mix this together until i have a fine dough keep mixing until all the flour is absorbed i realized this ghee makes the dough a little bit soft and dull they to absorb anything even if you added flour right now it will still absorb it and unlike when you use butter so once the dough is ready we're just going to smear it with some oil and cover it for about 10 to 15 minutes for it to set and then yeah we're done 15 minutes are over and we're just going to uh, remove this one need a little bit and then cut it into our desired circular shapes before rolling it out I think I love quesadillas more than I would do uh, shawamas because I love cheese. Yeah, because I love cheese. So we're just going to cut the small dough that we made into small balls and then we'll roll it out into a circular and flat sheet. So that is supposed to be a tortilla. So we roll out until it's this thin and we're just going to put it on the pan without oil. You see how thin it is and how it goes off really softly is because of uh, the, the ghee I think because when I use butter most times if it's this thin it will not go off that easily. So once we have this thickness and we are done rolling it out you're just going to pan fry it on the pan with no oil. Just put it there let it bubble up and then turn it until you feel like it's ready and then remove it because you are again going to cook it at the end of the time. So just like this, our tortilla is ready and we are going to season our chicken because we are going to be making chicken quesadilla and put in some curry, uh, put in some salt, some black pepper, then go in with a seasoning cube, put in some turmeric. I love the scent of mustard. I love the flavor of mustard and of course harambe. So mix everything together and make sure each piece i use the chicken thighs but you can use a chicken breast they are easier to work with so i just cut out the meat on the thighs that is why it's looking like that so i'm just going to go in with some small oil on the pan and i'll put the chicken on there for it to flat to fry before i assemble my quesadilla So once the chicken is ready, of course it has released its oils, we are just going to remove it and put it aside and drain some extra oil before we cut, cut it into smaller manageable pieces and we will be ready, almost done. By the time you are frying the chicken, you should be shredding some mozzarella cheese that I did. You can add in any other cheese that you want, parmesan, gouda, anything, as long as it's cheese, I'm in for it. So let's assemble. Put on first the cheese. I'm using mozzarella alone. I'm just going to put on some carrots. You can use uh, peas. You can use any vegetables that you want. And then you add on your meat. You can also do this with uh, maybe hot dogs. You can do this with beef. Anything, anything. So, of course, top it with some cheese. I told you I love cheese. And then 
cover it and you are ready to pan fry this one we are going to put it on the pan again leave it there for some time until the, the cheese melts we just want everything to be incorporated together just keep on turning it you see the tortilla is going to a little bit harden on top because it's not a chapati so once it has melted i think we are ready to serve just cut into it i think you can see the texture of the tortilla and boom if it's not running it wasn't enough adding some cheese thank you so much guys for watching up until this time thank you so much for subscribing for liking my videos for sharing my videos i hope you like this video and i hope to see you soon in my next video bye